for tuning in to Stories with Miss Courtney. I'm so glad you're all here today. I have some fun stories to share with you. And I think I hear the story time train coming now. Come on, train. What have we got today? Oh, Are You a Horse by Andy Rash. All right. Our first story today is Are You a Horse by Andy Rash. And this is a story about a cowboy, a cowboy named Roy. And today was Cowboy Roy's birthday. Yay! He was so excited. And he had a very special surprise. His mom had sent him a gift. And when he opened it up, he saw that it was oh, ooh, a saddle. He said, yay, I'm so excited, a saddle. This is great. But then he thought, he said, what do you do with a saddle? Luckily, there were instructions. It says, find a horse, enjoy the ride. So Cowboy Roy went out to look for a horse. He knew he could do it. He searched high and low until he found somebody who might be a horse. Squeak, squeak, squeak. He said, hello, are you a horse? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Toodles, is this a horse? No. No, this was a mouse, not a horse. So Cowboy Roy <laughs> kept looking. He searched high and low until he found another friend. Meow. He said, hello, are you a horse? Is this a horse? Meow. No, this wasn't a horse. This was a cat. So he kept looking. He searched high and low until he found blub, 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 blub. He said, hi, are you a horse? Is this a horse? No. No, this is a fish, not a horse. Cowboy Roy kept looking. He searched high and he searched low until he saw something big and ferocious. He said, that must be a horse. Roar. Do you say, is this a horse? No. No, it was not a horse. It was a lion. He kept looking. He searched high and he searched low until he found another friend that he knew must be a horse. Do you say, is this a horse? No. No. It wasn't a horse at all. Cowboy Roy was starting to get sad. He said, will I ever find a horse? When off in the distance, he heard a wonderful sound. Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. <gasps> It had a mane and it had long legs. It was so beautiful. It was fast. He said, oh, that must be a horse. Do you say, is this a horse? Yay! Yes, it is a horse. He was so excited. He said, I know what to do. He got his saddle and he put it on his back. And he said, hop on horse. And the horse hopped on and they rode together off into the sunset. Yee-haw! And it was the best birthday ever. And that is the story of Are You a Horse by Andy Rush. Martin! Yay! Okay, our second story today is Lunch by Denise Fleming. And this is one of my favorite stories because it is about eating all kinds of tasty foods, and that is something that I love to do. So here we go. Mouse was hungry. He was so hungry. He ate a crisp white turnip. Yum, 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 yum. He also ate a tasty orange carrot. Mmm, mmm, delicious. He also had a sweet yellow corn. Yum, 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 yum. And he had some tender green peas. Yum, 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 yum. Ooh, he really likes peas. He also had a tart blue <gasps> berry. Yum, 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 yum. Mm, mm, mm. Nice and tart. He also had a sour purple oh, grape. Yum, yum, yum. Delicious. And he had a shiny red apple. 
Juicy pink watermelon. Yum, 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 So good. He even ate the crunchy black seeds. Crunch, 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 crunch. Then he took a nap. until dinner time <laughs> and that is the story of lunch by Denise Fleming thank you all for tuning in with stories with Miss Courtney today I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week bye